backstage with Chris Weidman, obviously. Chris, we're sitting down. The legs went through a lot in this fight. But before we even talk about the fight, how do you feel right now? And what was the experience like making that walk back to the octagon and the walk out of it as well? Yeah, uh, it was uh, it was some experience. I really was uh, grateful the whole time. Um, just uh, to make that walk again, not knowing if I was going to be able to do this again. You know, to be back at an arena and, you know, have a fight week and make weight and everything I was really grateful for. Um, the energy in the crowd was really something I was, uh, I, can't, I can't thank them enough. It's like to have that much love, to have that many people around the world, kind of have a little un understanding of what I've been through and what it took to get here and how they really came, uh, really came out hard to support me even uh, in a fight that I lost, was really, um, really uh, awesome for me. So They were chanting Weidman throughout that three-rounder when it came to the fight itself. Was there hesitancy? Was there concern? Was there worry, especially in that first round, about the leg? There was. I, I, I didn't think there would be. To be honest, I, I, in sparring, you know, usually someone kicks me. I kick them right back, and I kick really hard. I, what, there was hesitancy. Um, there was probably a little bit of ring rust. I told, I wouldn't, this is all, you know, no, no excuses. I was, I, was, I told um, Brad um, after the fight, like, we, he's an awesome dude. And, I mean, kind of stood there the first round. I guess he was worried about my takedowns. Uh, and I was just kind of getting a feel to be in there again. Um, and I can't believe he leg kicked me. I, I'm, <laughs> when he started leg kicking me, I was like, you bastard. You're such a nice dude. Why are you freaking leg kicking me? And then when he kicked my surgery, like that's what got pissed. That's kind of what pissed me off. This is a fight game. I'm kind of being a little just funny with it, but it was just, I just, it was uh, not. It wasn't a tactic. I think that was going to be happening. To be honest, I probably should have assumed it, but um, I was like, all right, I'm gonna kick my leg. <laughs> that's messed up. Um, but it, it, I think it ended up being a fun fight. Um, I thought I won the second round, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it was uh, like. Uh, I'm just happy to be here, and I, and I hope I could be an inspiration to people who have had, you know, big setbacks in their life that you could, you know, come back from it uh, on the highest level. Whatever you want to accomplish, you could do it. Um, I'm not done, so I, 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 uh, I'll be back better than ever, but this was a good uh, opportunity for me to get back in the octagon. And it was really beautiful to see you back in there, to see you walk in and out. You know, obviously it's something we take for granted a lot of times when we see fights, but I know you certainly do not. Before I let you go, Chris, there's going to be concern. We've got ice on your right leg. There, people are going to wonder and worry about how the legs are feeling right now. What can you tell us? I, the, yeah, my, the, the, both legs hurt pretty bad. I'm, I'm in a wheelie chair that they're pushing me in and also dragging me in. Uh, who would have thought? But, um, yeah, the, the surgery leg one, that one's pretty puffy. I don't think there's any serious damage. Um, I have a rod in the middle of that thing, but uh, there's definitely going to be some pain for the next probably week or so. Well, we appreciate you spending some time to talk to us. Your beautiful family is here. If you saw our backdrop moving, that's because they were playing, you know, and they still admire and love you just as much as they did before. So it's so, it's so it, yeah. And, and, and I know I don't want to take up all your time, but I really, truly, I wanted to get the mic afterwards, and it's, a, it's an honor, and if I take it as, you know, uh, it's a privilege that, you guys still have me for an interview even after a loss because I just I feel like a champion every single day with the family I have and uh, I could cry thinking about it but during the weight cut and stuff I got you know everyone there for me my my son's holding my hand I uh, got my daughter cuddling with me fight day you know just just uh hanging out with me all day my my little go my little guy Colton just being crazy and making things fun and my wife you know just taking care of business while uh being so stressed during fight week which you know what that's like and, uh, you know, so I, I just, I, you know, and, and when, you, when you go into the fight world, it's a very stressful spot and it really puts thing, things in perspective and it draws you close to the people that matter the most. And uh, so it, it just helps you appreciate what you have. Well, you have a beautiful family. Marivi for MVP. Those three kids, I'm sure, are going to be, you know, asking you to she do stuff all week long. That. I was only talking good so she could I I get some brownies. I'll send her this link. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. But we appreciate it, Chris. Safe travels home. Thank you so much for spending time with us. And thank you for allowing us to visualize and see this journey as you went through it yourself. It was a true inspiration and an honor. And we can't wait to see it back. Thank you so Thanks. much. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.